naked nakedness and everybody is interested in watching the naked pictures of Michelangelo, Picasso and all the beautiful high-tech, highly renowned painters around the world. Why nakedness has become so beautiful? When you say nakedness, they created a naked body. That is a, a body, is a pure body. But why naked came? Just because it was clothed. A hide and seek game, not to see the truth, the reality. But the reality is the moment the people see the nakedness, all the painters know, for a second they become meditative. For a second, they could feel the truth and the truth is very close to God. Hence, that naked painting has created so much of flavor. People are thinking that naked picture uh, creates a kind of a sexual feeling for the, for the people. Hence, they were looking. No, no, no. Everybody is looking for some truth. And the truth is the nakedness, the mind and the heart. When the cup is empty, truth speaks. The moon cannot be stolen. Stolen. This is the ninth story from the Zen Fresh Zen Bones written by Paul Rips. Ryokan, a Zen master, lived the simplest kind of life in a little hut at the foot of a mountain. One evening, a thief visited the hut only to discover there was nothing in it to steal. Ryokane returned and caught him. You may have come a long way to visit me. He told the prowler, and you should not return empty-handed. Please take my clothes as a gift. The thief was bewildered. He took the clothes and slunk away. Ryokane sat naked, watching the moon. Poor fellow, he mused, I wish I could give him this beautiful moon. Reckon most of the masters, I don't know about the present masters, the old masters, they hardly have anything. Reckon was staying at the foot of the mountain. Why the foot of the mountain came? Because they must have picked it up from India, the Shastaka Namaskar, because the foot, the feet is very, very important. Every child has been taught, every man has been taught to touch the feet. Japanese does that bowing, but it is only half naked. The only full nakedness is done by India. They were a little shy to touch the floor. India does the namaskara, every kid. Even if I walk on the street, I stand on the road, even if it is a muddy water also, people come and they just go flat on the floor. And they just touch the feet my feet. Uh, sometimes I have to stop them to tell them, no, the area is dirty. Please don't go down. Please don't go down. Foot of the mountain is what Ryokan stayed. Foot of the mountain. They could have used the term. He stayed. But foot of the mountain means every time to remind the child, every time to remind the people, please be rooted. Don't leave the Sanskriti because without the roots, Without the roots, finished, like the rabbit and the tortoise story. They both were fighting. Rabbit and the tortoise were brothers and sisters in a house. There was one banana plant and both were fighting for the banana plant. So the father got angry. He took the knife and cut it into two pieces and said, take it, whichever you want it. And the rabbit said, I want the top one, which has got the leaves and other things. The rabbit took the top one of the plant, banana plant and he went and planted it. The tortoise said, whatever is going to me is okay. She took the lower part of the banana plant, which has got a root. She went and planted. That banana plant became a beautiful banana with bananas. But the rabbit, which went cut the top, he put it down. It never flowered. It never flowered. It never gave fruits. It dried and died. Hence, they said the root is very important. The head, don't think logically from the head. They say, go to the heart. No, 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 no. India doesn't even believe in the heart also. Just a foot which has got no heart and soul, no brains or just.
the fruit. Yes. Ryokan Sen must live the simplest kind of life in a little hut at the foot of a mountain. One evening, thief visited the hut only to discover there was nothing in it to steal. In the foot, in the in the in the roots, there is nothing to steal. That roots has got all the flavor. That is the root starts from your family's love. Not the other love which you are telling, I love you for sexual gains. Sexual gains is only a thief, a robber, just to hit and run. No, no, no. That is not the love. Love is the family's love of feel, smell, taste, touch and see. The family's love of everything what is happening in that house you participate. Participate in cooking together, taking baths, cleaning the house together. Trying to find every day one improvement in the house to make sure in 365 days you get 365 improvement, yes. And you make sure there is no complaints and no explanation is given. Don't complain and don't explain. The house will be beautiful, yes. And there is nothing in it to steal because in that house which is connected to the joint family and the family tree, what is there to steal? Because it has only got culture. Samskruti, the culture of a song, a beautiful song, Carnatic music, Hindustani music, a beautiful dance, Kathakali, Bhardhanati, Mohini Atam, this beautiful dance, martial arts, varieties of martial arts, mostly of wrestling, the push and pull, the body contact, yes, hugging and pulling and turning and twisting. Hence, the wrestling was more important when compared to karate and kung fu, boxing and other things. Wrestling has become a very beautiful art of India because the wrestlers go naked. They hardly wear anything. One. Two is they are in the mud to tell them the root. The mud is very, very important. When you play in the mud, you hug and roll in the mud. The mud sucks all your poison from your body. Yes, you become very, very healthy. Hence, they encourage us that mud. Yes, mud was very, very important. And in that Sanskrit, what to steal? Only art is there, beautiful trees are there. When it flowers, you can eat. Nobody says, don't steal. Eating from the trees, climbing the trees and plucking the chepekai. The trees, the hug of the trees. You climb it, they never tell not to pluck the coconut tender. You can do anything in your family tree. It has got thousands of acres. Ryokan returned and caught him. You may have come a long way to visit me, told the prowler, and you should not return empty handed. Please take my clothes as a gift. Yes. Ryokan, when he returned to his hut at the foot of the mountain, Zen master, he found a thief. He caught the thief. And the thief was very sad that he couldn't get anything from the hut because. Uh, Zen master don't have to keep anything in the house. Yes, anything keeping in the house is attracting jirle and ili, cockroaches and rats and flies, dust. And that is the start of your fixed deposit of your first disease. Remove everything from your house, all the furniture is empty. And you can see all the beauty, there won't be any disease. The furniture people are just made you a slave. They are more controlling you. Yes, throw out the bed. They created the bed. The day you had the cot, you forgot to touch the bum on the floor. And when you didn't touch the bum on the floor, they gave you a English kamod. You, your bum didn't touch the floor. Your knee problem started. The spinal column started. The ankles become weak. Start of the disease. Your fixed deposit. Yes. The thief was bewildered. He took the clothes and slunk away. He said, please, take my last clothes. Because Aditi Devo Bhava is what has been taught to us. Anybody comes, we do not know whether they are good people or bad people. That is for the police department. And for a master, what difference does it make whether he's a thief or anybody? Maybe your real Ryokan doesn't know he was a thief. Ryokan thought a visitor came. Maybe a disciple who came. Whoever comes in any form is in God's form for Ryokan. For us Indians, yes. For us in Rakum school, anybody who walks into our place, we consider them as God, yes. Hence, Ryokan must have felt it that 
it must have been a god came he should not go with it ryokan did not have anything except a small towel he removed the towel and gave to the thief or gave to that person who was in a hurry to take something and run and the thief ran and ryokan sat and looked at the moon moons looked at the nature yes i hope people would have enjoyed this nakedness of this nature the moon means the trees the flowers the sky the moon the sun all are naked if they could observe they were all seeing but they went unconscious they were looking into they were rushing up to holes drunkard holes which is made of concrete and they see the light and they call it pop music dance they go wild seeing that light but that is all can making you to be controlled or non stop with the drugs and you make you think that you are literate but the literacy is when you look at the trees and you hug the trees you become observant when you look at the sky and the moon and you embrace the wind the first time you are literate say so i hope i could have given that nakedness be naked in your heart in your feelings and like how does you go to his master with the cup empty out every time empty your heart in your mind and your body you can always get fresh otherwise the previous days dirty food dirty intelligence mixed up with today's new look will be always get corrupted and you look at anybody and everybody you look through a yellow fever you find rakun gurji is a robber is a kala the politicians is a robber is a kala your father mother is a kala your wife is a kala sister is kala everybody is kala when you point a finger to everybody telling they are all robbers four fingers are pointing back to you telling you are the greatest be naked